at UCSF, we understand that medical care of complex disease patients needs to be done in a, in a collaborative, multidisciplinary method. What makes this particular group special, in my opinion, is uh, that everybody is very deeply engaged in what they want to do here. Uh, their research, their clinical care, their teaching activities, uh, and specifically the education of fellows and residents is something that everybody holds very close to their heart. Here at UCSF, in 2006, we developed a neurohospitalist program. Our idea was never to develop a model of care that just helps patients in San Francisco. Rather, we wanted to develop a model that can be used regionally and nationally to care for patients with a wide spectrum of neurologic disorders, including stroke. What we've spent a lot of time thinking about is how patients with neurologic conditions, including stroke, can develop delirium. By focusing on patients and how to prevent and then treat delirium, we have the opportunity to improve the entire hospitalization for our patients with stroke. One of our biggest challenges in neurology is actually predicting the outcome of the patients that we take care of. One of the things we've developed in our research program is to use um, specialized tools in collaboration with our UCSF Neuroradiology Service to develop blood flow measures that we can do at the bedside and in our interventional radiology suites that allow us to look at patients' blood flow in a very specific manner and hopefully continue to track it when they return back to their ICU. Collaboration is key in neurocritical care. It's just inherent to the specialty. We all work together as a team, and what I bring to the table is the open surgical options for patients. I fix anything that's broken in the circulation of the brain. So I repair aneurysms, I take out brain arteriovenous malformations, cavernous malformations, I do bypasses, clean out the carotid arteries that are clogged, and uh, anything that needs to be repaired, I basically fix it. Our goal is patient outcome. Whether the patient should be clipped or coiled or not treated are all decisions that we discuss in real time. So the triumvirate of endovascular surgeons, neurosurgeons, and intensivist vascular neurologists is the perfect way, I think, to treat patients and, and, and greatly promote outcome. One of the things that we realize in taking care of patients in the hospital is that the transition from hospital to home is so important. And so we have our nurses call every patient that's discharged from the stroke service within 72 hours to follow up on medications, on follow-up plans, etc., so that that transition happens seamlessly. In that way, we help to avoid unnecessary re-hospitalizations or readmissions and other complications. I think another important aspect is collaboration and research. We interact very closely with our stroke neurology group, our vascular neurosurgeons, and our PhD scientists. Uh, an example of that would be the NET program. NET is an NIH-funded program called the Neurological Emergencies Treatment Trials Network. And I'm the principal investigator of SFNET, the San Francisco hub. Now the stroke net itself has been created for the treatment um, and testing of neurologic emergencies. So one third of it is prevention, a third of it is acute treatment of stroke, and one third of it is in recovery from stroke. And we have amassed the expertise we have here in a way that we've convinced the NIH that we're worthy of this very prestigious status to be among these 25 centers. The key advantage of this network is that we're able to leverage all of the existing infrastructure, the expertise of coordinators, the experience of sites, uh, to really conduct clinical trials efficiently and effectively. Education has to be an important piece of what we do as neurologists. So at UCSF we have two uh, postgraduate training programs, one in neurocritical care and we have one in vascular neurology. One of the most gratifying parts of my job is to recruit and train fellows to enter our field of neurovascular and critical care. I was the first pediatric stroke neurologist to be trained at UCSF because at that time, in the late 1990s, there was very little information about childhood stroke. Because childhood stroke is an uncommon disease, it really can only be studied in a meaningful way through collaborative efforts with other institutions. 
I'm proud of UCSF and proud of the work here for many different reasons. I think the future in stroke holds great hope in the area of prevention. It is a preventable disease. We need to get that message through.